You know, I said pregame that Mary has the ability to, to change a game in moments, and in that moment she was just amazing. Like her touches in midfield, the ball through to Caitlin, like it was it was so fun to watch, and then the finish was fantastic as well. And not only that, but she's playing really well. Like she's she's bossing it in the midfield for the Matildas. So I, I hope Man City looks at, at Mary and, and gives her some more game time this coming season. You could tell that she had so much talent, but I think the thing that was really amazing with Mary is that Physically, she was very mature, like she was very strong, very quick, and as a 16-year-old, like that to me was something I hadn't really seen before. Um, and her mindset, um, you know, towards her football career was, again, something I hadn't seen before at someone that age. So she was really unique, and, and you knew that she was going to go on and achieve really big things. My two Fowler sisters is what I used to call them. You forget how young both of them were. You know, Mary was 16 and Kira was, um, I think, 18. So they were both still very young, and um, but you know, full credit to them. They were living away from home by themselves in a, a new family home. Like, they were amazing. Like, they were lovely. Like, I had, I'm really happy that we got to have them at our house. But they used to be really competitive table tennis. Oh, really? Play. Yeah, they would go into the local town and there was a table tennis table out on the lawn and they would just be out there for hours, the two of them. They had, you know, a drive to, to be the best versions of themselves that they possibly could be. And and it was really cool to see Mary kind of at the start of her journey, or maybe not the start, but the start of her professional journey. And, and to see from there where she was then to where she is now, like it, it's no surprise to me where that she's you know, accomplished the things that she has.